What's going on guys? I'm back with another video. We're going to be doing a uh, video on frame rate. So I haven't really, uh, I have posted a video a couple of days ago on the uh, F8C. If you haven't checked that out, I'll uh, leave a pinned comment or a, uh, a thing at the end of the video. So you guys can go ahead and check that out. Um, We're going to be doing a test today on frame rate. Because I've been playing this simulator for three years, since 2020, I've been doing content on this game for a very, very long time. And the biggest thing that um, that's pretty really a test of your system is Microsoft Flight Simulator. And I'm going to be doing a test on, on 2020 Microsoft Flight Simulator with the RTX or the i9-1300K with the RTX 4090 with 32 gigs of memory running at uh, a clock speed of 5600 megahertz and um, we're running 24 cores and I'm gonna pull up HD monitor here for a second and we're running uh, significant core cuts I don't know if you guys can see it but we are running a uh, 5.4-ish uh, uh, gigahertz in terms of uh, of uh, speed, and we're also our CPU is about 62C. So I know I probably could have got uh, MSI Afterburner to do that just to show you a little bit more, but for some reason MSI Afterburner hasn't been really updating. I could be wrong, but it hasn't been really updating for me and it's been causing some problems. So I'm gonna kind of not use it anymore, but uh, we're gonna be getting in some gameplay here and show you guys the. I'm, right, I'm flying the F uh, F18 at the moment, in in game F18, and uh, we're gonna be kind of doing a test. I'm also running a a 300 and uh, 20 AIO. So I'm running a LT720-320 uh, AIO. As you can see, we're getting about uh, about 200 frames. To really test this out is that we're going to be going to Chicago. Because um, it's really a testament on how the frame rate kind of does and everything. I'm just kind of... Um, I never really did a frame rate video before because, you know... Light sim is kind of one of them things you got to kind of test it out and see how it is. Uh, a lot of optimization has gone in the last three years, of course, of uh, really, you know, since I've been playing. I remember back in the day when I was running a 1300K, not 1300K, uh, Ryzen 9 3950X getting like 90 frames. Um, but yeah, as you can see, you're getting about 100 and 180 frames, which is not that bad. Um, that's with DLSS on, Ultra uh, settings, of course. Um, we could even get more on that if we run it on low settings. Um, so that would kind of be based off the CPU and not so much on the GPU. Um, but uh, we're kind of using the GPU as the main source. But as you can tell, you know, we're getting about 100, uh, 200, 190 frames. And this is the most dense area. Um, you know, we kind of dropped there about 120, 130, 160. Our clock speed is about. Oh my god. <laughs> Doing some sound barriers there. Lake Michigan over there in the distance. So, yeah, guys, that's basically the quick frame rate test on how much frames I get in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now, I've been running this setup since uh, July of this year. I did get a different PC, of course, because I, uh, I'm getting kind of ready for 2024 to come out already. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy uh, this, uh, this gameplay and this uh, frame rate test for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. And, uh, yeah, thought I'd go ahead and show it off a little bit. Anyways, guys, uh, get to rate, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, this is the PC I kind of use, custom-built one I built. Um, 
this year, this past year. And, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. For a great comment, subscribe. Till next time, Scheme 9 signing off. Peace out, guys.